What's up guys? Welcome back to the internet, the YouTube world. This is my channel, Geeknoid TV, and today we're going to talk about something the drum roll was way out of timing, but we're gonna talk about the things the top YouTubers all have in common. Uh, I did a lot of thinking on this, I did a lot of watching on videos, and really thinking, you know, what is it that makes these YouTubers special? What makes them, what puts them on top, and how did they get there? I mean, everyone's different on how they got there, and everyone's different on the content that you, they create, and exactly what they, they do for that content, but I was able to break it down into essentially three different things that they all consistently have. Thing number one, the first thing I noticed that they all have is quality. It's not necessarily quality on the video. It's not 4K resolution or a Hollywood quality production. It's not necessarily, necessarily what quality means. Yes, quality of the camera, the lens, the equipment, it helps, but it's not the key to quality. To influence your quality, you have to do things like set up your background, set up your lighting, take time to clean up your background. If you're in the kitchen, you don't want dishes strewn all about your counter. Editing plays another important role. Edit out the dead space between things that you're talking about. If I'm talking and I can't quite remember something and I go, um, uh, we don't want that in the video. People don't wanna watch you think about what you might wanna say next. So edit those things out, get some nice transitions in there, keep it interesting, keep it fast paced, keep your audience engaged. Now, as far as I said with the camera, a lot of people actually just film on their phone. You get top YouTubers still filming on their phone, even though they may own a uh, Sony G7X or whatever the camera is, or the Canon Rebels or the 80D. Whatever camera they have is not always what they use. Phones can always take place of these big setups that YouTubers tend to have. If you don't have that setup ready and able to shoot at the time something happens or the time you're wanting to talk or the time that you're enjoying something, it just doesn't work. So using a phone is not necessarily a big deal and phones shoot great footage nowadays. Most of them all shoot 1080p high definition video. So big money on big cameras is not necessarily what quality means. It's the quality of the content, quality of editing, quality of the lighting, quality of how you put it together and what it looks like. Writing out scripts or notes is another great way to keep your video on context keep those turning your phone off and ensuring you don't get messages while filming is another great way. So writing out scripts and taking notes on the topic you're going to be talking about is a great way to keep you on track. Even researching your topic if you're not 100% sure on the statistics or exactly what the information is that you're going to be portraying. Doing your research, like I did for this one, is a great way to ensure that you're putting out proper knowledge onto the internet and not just bombarding it with more crap that we know is all already consuming the web. So after quality, we have consistency. Uploading schedules are a great way to show your consistency. Having a Monday and Thursday upload, or if it's a Friday upload, the consistency of having a schedule can bring your audience back. They know when to expect your next video, and maybe every Wednesday after work, people come home or come home from school and they wanna sit down and they are expecting to see your video. If you don't have that video up, you're gonna lose your audience fairly quickly. Now this is just a very basic way of showing consistency throughout your channel and throughout your personality. Develop reoccurring characters. My dog is a reoccurring character on my channel. Um, if you take someone like Peter McKinnon, he has coffee. Coffee, an item, is literally a reoccurring character in his vlogs. If he doesn't include coffee within his vlogs, he'll actually get comments, dude, you didn't have a coffee today. That's a reoccurring character that can be consistent throughout your channel. You can do things like talk about progress and your goals. If you set a goal for weight loss, showing the consistency of you actually sticking with your goal and making it through, people will love to see that progress through your goal and the consistency of making it. It just goes hand in hand with the same consistency you will be applying to your channel. Now falling back a little bit to the last note on quality, consistency in your quality is another big, big thing. It's another big thing. All these steps kind of go hand in hand. You'll kind of get that sense when you're you're listening to this. Next point, style. I mean, yeah, when you think of style, you think of your fashion choice, how you do your hair, the clothes you wear, what's in your background. Those certainly can affect your style. The style of your video, however, is a little bit different. You have things like your filming style. You're gonna be a vlogger where you're gonna be hand-holding your camera and you're gonna be walking around. Is that your style or is it gonna be stationary? Is it gonna be a one-shot kind of deal or are you gonna be doing half and half? You're gonna be doing B-roll, cinematic stuff. Is it gonna be really professional or is it gonna be really casual? These are all gonna be affecting your style. You know, lighting, editing, background, pacing, the humor, the jokes, information, how often you upload, music choices, interests you have, 
who you include in your videos, the selfies you take for your social media, the titles of your videos, the tags you use to tag your videos, the videos you like and share on your social media, the videos you like on your YouTube, the other creators you talk to and interact with. The I think at this point you kind of get the idea what I mean by style. So yes, are you going to be someone who has your hair dyed every other week? Are you going to be someone who's going to be up in a suit? Those are certainly style that you will portray, but the subliminal style is everything about your video that will draw people in. Now each of these three things, when combined, they make your brand. And that brand is going to be associated with a person, and that person, you've guessed it, is you. So let's take a top YouTuber. When we say 368 and New York, you know we're talking about Casey Neistat. You think cinematography, you think Peter McKinnon, you say douchebaggery, you think of Logan Paul. <laughs> So building your brand will naturally come if you follow those three steps of quality, consistency, and style. Now there is kind of, however, a fourth quasi point, I guess we could throw at you here. The word niche has been thrown around a lot on YouTube in the last few years. And I mean a lot, like ridiculous amounts. People always say, oh, you need to find your niche. Stick to your niche. No, don't stick to your niche. Don't find your niche. Your niche will find you. And second of all, any big YouTuber does not stick to their niche. I mean, there's always exceptions to every rule. There are YouTubers who do stick to their niche and that's what they do and that's it. But keeping an open mind to meeting new people, doing new things, trying something else and always ready to explore your boundaries can keep you true to yourself and make sure that you don't get cut off by your niche and the control and having to stay with inside this box of what you call a niche. It keeps the creative energy flowing, keeps your interest in your own video and your own channels going. So I guess the fourth quasi point is your niche, but no, not even niche. You know what? Open mind. Your, the fourth point is an open mind. So guys, that is it for this video. The three quasi four things all top YouTubers have in common. And I think if anyone wants to progress in YouTube, aside from becoming viral and lucky, I think those are the things you gotta do. And even if you do become viral and lucky and make it to the top, I think you have to, to implement those things to stay on top. Anyways guys, I hope you like this video. I hope it's helpful for you as well. And if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And guys, I will see you in my next video. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you later. Whoa, bam.